This video is one of a series produced by the Georgia Department of Public Health. Its purpose is to provide training for non-clinical volunteers to enable them to perform basic health care tasks and take pressure off professional medical staff in the event of a wide-scale emergency. Every hospital is different, so check with your supervisor to learn about protocols that are specific to your hospital. While watching this video, please remember these things. As a non-clinical volunteer, you will not be called on to perform any clinical task or to make judgment calls on patients' treatment needs. If you encounter anything unusual or something that you don't understand, you should immediately consult a registered nurse or another healthcare professional. The Georgia Department of Public Health appreciates your help and thanks you for volunteering. To enable patients to bathe themselves, you will first need to obtain a bath basin. New bath basins are usually kept in the supply room, but check with the registered nurse. If the patient already has a bath basin, you'll find it in the bedside cabinet. You'll also find lotion in the bedside cabinet, and soap will be in the clean utility room or on the housekeeper's cart. You will need two towels, two washcloths, and a clean gown. Before you begin the bath setup, wash your hands thoroughly. Seat the patient in a chair beside the bed and place the over bed table in front of him. Pour warm water into the basin until it's half full. Do not use hot water, only warm. Place the basin on the bedside table with the towels, washcloths, soap, and lotion. Place a clean gown on the bed to keep it dry. Pull the curtain to give the patient privacy. Be ready to assist the patient if they need help. When the bath is complete, pour the bath water into the sink and dry out the basin. Place the soap and the lotion in the basin and store it in a bedside cabinet. Don't forget to wash your hands before leaving the room.